All right, here we are today with our groups of old vintage stamps. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? You first have the blue one, and then the purple one. Aren't they beautiful? A couple of ones, they're both the same style, just different colors. Same amount even. Okay, and then we go down to this bottom one, and this one happens to be a two. And the twos are in their upper right-hand corner, as opposed to this five that's in the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? With the wings and everything, in the brown. And the five, of course, is in the blue. They're so beautiful. So I put them all together like this as a set because I'm trying to group them together so if you buy one stamp, you got more. So it's part of a collection. You want to start this collection? I'm giving you more than one. <laughs> so this is how I'm going to sell them. I'm trying to group them as best as I can uh, so that your collection can start. If you know somebody who wants to start a collection, this is a good thing. At least they got groups. So this is one group. Now let me take you to the next one here. And we have this one here. There we go. Bring this down a little bit. There you go. Oh, look at that. Now we have the 10 up here. This one's a rather different one. Interior. Then you have the one right here. Oh, this is kind of nice and interesting. Beautiful little green. But I think the one you might find of more value will be the 5 in blue. Beautiful little bird. Now that blue five, I believe. I've seen this on some of the auctions. So it's a nice one, that's for sure. Okay, now let's take you to our third group of stamps right here. Now look at this one. Now this five is the same as one of the other fives, but back in the old days, they would have this little diamond punch out. And of course, look at the overprint. The overprint on this one says official. So sometimes the overprint on a stamp can make it very valuable. All right, then look underneath, you have a three in green. And then the seven in a black and white. Now that seven's rather unique. Look at the left side under the portrait. Beautiful. All right, now let's show you another overprint in our last group, group four. First one right up there. Look at that. It has an overprint. It used to be a, I believe, a seven. Not a seven or a one. That's yeah, a seven. So it used to be a seven. And then it got changed, if you can see the red, to a dollar along with a beautiful little emblem right there in red. Very nice. And then underneath you have the five in burgundy and the five in brown. The exact same portrait, same design, both fives 
but one is burgundy and white and the other one is brown and white so those are very nice all right hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you if you know of somebody you know for a gift get others it's going to be hard to get the young generation into stamp collecting but if they learn values of them might change their mind they're beautiful I love how they done things in the old days very detailed all right bye bye